morning everyone uh, today i am at uh, uh, navsari agriculture university particularly with the college of forestry with me uh, dean dr uh, sri vasava sir uh, today we are going to see you know what is called as a bamboo based value added products as most of you are aware you know every week through this agro forestry youtube channel we have been seeing technology based the youtube technology technology based video presentation this is mainly to create awareness among the farming community awareness among the various wood based industries and you know that uh, government of india particularly almost all the various various agencies we are looking into promote of various agro forestry model wide range of trees species have been identified among several species bamboo is identified as one of the potential and commercial species by almost all sectors and that is the reason recently there was an amendment amendment in bamboo uh, timber transit also that also given a lot of technological support lot of legal support particularly for the bamboo growing farmers to harvest and to take it to anywhere in the in the in the country so that's the reason i think bamboo based agroforestry is gaining significant attraction and uh, though it is bamboo is not the bamboo is native to species india is known for anything more than 100 different tree species which are which has endowed with what is called as a highly diverse populations of bamboo genetic resources next to china so this bamboo genetic resources there are various categories for example thani bamboo thanless bamboo some other other improved genetic resources as far as the, the entire country is concerned there are two species particularly bamboos of bamboos and dendrochloma sicus these are the robust species which occurs both in dry deciduous forests and moist deciduous forests there are some certain thanless bamboos like bamboos of balkava bamboos of tulda bamboos of algaris dendrochloma jejancius like that these species from northern part it has been no it has been transferred to other rest of the country particularly for an introduction for incorporation in the agroforestry program like that bamboo is gaining significant attraction this is going to be one of the major commercial species not if at all not today maybe down the line another maybe 10 to 20 years because it it's it is it is called as a poor man timber timber it will serve the purpose of house construction whatever the timber demanded you know that once we were exporters of timber today we have become net importers and this concept i think bamboo based timber is going to play a vital role bamboo based cottage products we can see wide range of products bamboo based products like even nowadays people started creating bamboo based fuels bamboo based charcoal bamboo based carbon bamboo based ethanol i think all these things are now encouraging encouraging technological updatements all these things we have to use it so under this concept i am really happy that today we are going to see what are the value added products from uh, gujarat how this is going to benefit the farmers benefit the industries and ultimately how it is going to benefit the entire country as a whole so that's the season with it. and uh, now it is over to uh, navsari agriculture university we see one by one with the presence of all the technical uh, scientists and other artisans who are working in bamboo here we start with what is called as a production to consumption we we'll maybe some of the bamboo nursery we'll see then how bamboo value added products we'll see one by one we can see with a small video clippings right we have to tell our What, what do do? I have with me the dean of the institute, uh, Dr. Sri Vasava sir. Sir, please tell about uh, how you are doing in bamboo. Uh, this bamboo uh, bamboo system at uh, Navsari Agriculture Institute is uh, being uh, developed under the College of Forestry under Forest Product Utilization. In this uh, silviculture under agri, uh, silviculture and agroforestry, we are evaluating different uh, species of bamboo. There are around 38 species available in the farm. and we are having different trials nurseries so we are not only teaching to the students but also uh, meeting the demands of uh, farmers who come to purchase uh, uh, bamboo uh, plants and apart from evaluation we are also making uh, forest products in that we are utilizing the tribal farmers uh, who are trained in this uh, uh, making different products they are being provided employment and they are helping our students to gain uh, expertise in the making bamboo products and how to sell it that is a part of uh, experiential learning to the students of uh, college of forestry and now we are having lot of demand within university and outside university so we are not able to meet that demand so that shows the potential of bamboo in the uh, for the market and uh, gujarat state forest department as well as the state government is promoting uh, bamboo under bamboo mission so there is a lot of scope a lot of many startups could come and we are asking the students to gain expertise and start some their own venture in which they can provide employment now we will see bamboo genetic resources i have with me uh, mr jayendra i think he will tell you what are the species assembled here how they are doing yes doctor please go ahead 
in our bamboo setem there are 30, uh, 33 species available this is the uh, first species of bambusa belcoa yeah. uh, bambusa polymorpha bamboo bamboo uh, propagating the uh, bamboo by seed then vegetative propagation and then offshoot planting and uh, this is the uh, dendrogalmus pictus and dendro, uh, bambusa bambus uh, uh, grown by sea seeds Uh, propagated, uh, propagated, uh, propagated by offshoot planting, by offshoot plant, by branch cutting and uh, 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 culm cutting method. This is a preservation uh, unit, and uh, uh, for the uh, making of product, we have to uh, treat the bamboo. Uh, uh, bamboo. For uh, for that, we uh, we are using hot water tra treatment. Uh, we are using. Uh, boiling the bamboo at uh, for, for the five, four to five hours and then the, the boiled bamboo uh, boiled bam bamboo directly is uh, shifted to the uh, cold water or ccb treatment copper chrome copper chrome boric acid at 8.5 uh, percent uh, uh, copper sulfate potassium dichromate and boric, uh, boric acid at uh, the 3 gem 4 gem 1.5 uh, gem ratio for uh, for, uh, for 40, 48 hours and after that, uh, 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 we are uh, seasoning. Uh, we, uh, we are seasoning in the uh, shade. We are seasoning in the shade. The general concept of bamboo, bamboo genetic resources, bamboo nurseries. Now we are going to directly to the bamboo based value added products, and we are going to see in the form of video clippings, starting from a uh, general collection, then the, the conversion, not conversion really, the value addition, particularly how they are removing the uh, rinse. Uh, rinse on the internodes so all these things then we'll convert we'll see some of the products as well so it's a continuous video clipping and uh, it is over to you all the video viewers you will benefit from the art of the bamboo based value added products dollar large market of kite and kite industry is having the demand of long internode bamboo. So there are two species, one is a polymorpha and second is dolua. These two species having the one meter of long internode bamboo. So they can be used as a skeleton of bamboo, uh, kite in the, uh, kites. And the kite is required a long internode, why? Because it is having the, uh, it's, uh, the skeleton and skeleton requires the strength as well as flexibility. So these two species are suitable for the kite, kite industries. Making That's very good. Okay, this is this is very important. Hmm?
I think this is beautiful. This is a beautiful model. You know how <laughs> the the landscaping is getting attracted because of uh, what is called as a bamboo based landscape improvement. You know everyone you you know stone walls, stone stone sculptures, stone based landscape. Today it's a bamboo based. There are two advantages. It is not only green and clean. It also stores a lot of carbon as well, fixed carbon. So definitely this model is going to be emulated model. And uh, this video really helped the horticulturists, landscape specialists, whether it's a domestic or exporters, they can use this model or model of architect so that this can be a beautiful business model. And they will only, they can develop a lot of employment opportunities. Second one is they can help really the bamboo growing farmers. So all these things, it is going to be a mandatory system. I think it is a very, very impressive model. You see the umbrella, you see the hut, hut landscape hut, you see the selfie point, selfie point here. So all these things are very, really, see, bamboo, bamboo, bamboo based umbrella. <laughs> so this is, this is one of the system which really help them. So I'm really, not only, particularly not for any season, but for a summer season. Summer season, it is going to be a very big model. So definitely, I think those who are artisans, I think the skill, the skill of these people really have to be made. And all the students of forestry and agriculture or any farm graduates, they can use this model also. Similarly, there is a selfie point. You see? <laughs> This is a selfie point. See, I think the landscape is getting articulated with the bamboos. So definitely, mind you, US, this is going to be a beautiful model. So definitely, how to take, even this is good for uh, small houses. This is good for those who are having a small landscape out behind or in front of the house. This is good for hotels. This is good, good for uh, uh, smart cities. This is good for almost all the landscapes, common property resources available across, whether it's a village panjais or larger panjais or municipalities, or for corporations, or metropolitan cities. This is going to be a beautiful model. So bamboo based the, the eco restoration, or bamboo based the landscape improvement is going to be a mantra. I think for this, this model developed by this group is uh, beautiful. You know the purpose of this video clipping is only very simple. The purpose is how the bamboo is used as a you know typical commercial industry. You know, you can see various, various bamboo based products like chairs, tables, cart, even the small uh, dining, small dining table with the, you know, with the small uh, um, table also, tea pie also. So all these things are very significant. Here I really want to stress upon to the members, particularly this Navsari Agriculture University is one of the members of the consortium of industrial agro forest. So they take the entire value chain system in this part of the world, so in this part of the country. Definitely this is going to promote the, what is called as the value chain approach in agroforestry promotion. And bamboo is one unique model. I think really it is amazing to see from the raw material to the product development. And it is my duty also to congratulate all the faculty members headed by Dean Dr. Sri Vasava sir. This is very, very beautiful. And it extends a greater scope, not only to the farmers, but also to the students. And the students of forestry or any farm graduates, they can acquire the knowledge, they can develop a skill and expertise. And definitely this is going to be a real, the business model for the boys and girls. And for the farmers, they can take the liberty because you know that now the farmers want to over grow bamboos. Definitely there is a good market potential. And the only thing is this has to be you know established in the form of decentralized approach. So the decentralized cottage industry once it is developed as a bamboo based. Definitely bamboo growing farmers in the country are going to be benefited. And through the bamboo we are going to develop a large scale skill development in the country. All the several peoples can get employment opportunities. More than that this also extend the scope of greater scope of not only consumption within the country, but also extend the greater scope of exporting to the rest of the world as well. So that's the reason I think I'm really happy. After seeing this uh, this model, I really wanted to share this uh, technological upgradation to the rest of the people. That's the reason we are floating this particular technology-based video clipping to benefit all the viewers of this YouTube channel. Thank you very much. We'll see you with, once again with uh, uh, new technology-based video clipping. Thank you very much.